ask you to do if you come to join our workshop around the corner afterwards. You see the guys going into a very low ball, hitting the floor, rolling and pushing their momentum forward. This will help with also a lot of the bigger jumps. You know, we could jump off the top of here if we had to. So again, you see, land, bend your legs, roll forward, and the guys could do this all day, but I won't let them in case they get dizzy. Okay, so the next form of jump is called a precision jump, finding a precise point and landing on it with your feet. So you could go from the springboard, for instance, just onto the stage. You have a precise landing point, so we land, bend our legs, absorb it, and stop. Trying to imagine that this is uh, the edge of a rooftop really high and the guys have to stop or they're gonna fall, fall down and hurt themselves. You see the impact is absorbed by bending their knees, rotating their arms, pushing, stop. This will help later as well. Imagine if you're running, making a jump and you're landing just on the edge of it or if you're trying to link two or three movements together. Then there is the downward precision. For instance, if we were to come off of the stage, down back onto the springboard, the guys are gonna bend their legs now to start a little lower and once again absorb the shock. When we drill this, the idea is that these are, uh, we imagine that this is really high up, that this is a very specific landing spot and if we fall off, we're injured. And then that also helps our minds focus when we are legitimately doing it very high up. Normally we play a game that if you don't stick the precision, if you fall off, you have to get up and do it again 10 times. Uh, you learn very quickly that way. Okay. That is the first fundamental out of the way, so we've got the jumping and the rolling. Now here are some of the more iconic